Patient positioning made easy. The first position is supine. This is when the patient is lying flat on their back. You can remember this by the memory trick, supine, think up. Then we have Fowler's position. We have semi Fowler's, which is 30 to 45 degrees, Fowler's, which is 45 to 60 degrees, and high Fowler's, which is up to 90 degrees. This position improves breathing and oxygenation. So Fowler's think oxygenation. Next is prone. Prone positioning is when the patient is lying face down. This position is used to access the back of the head, neck, or spine. You can remember this by the memory trick, prone is off of the tailbone. Next is lateral. This is when the patient is lying on either their left or right side. It's typically used for thoracic or hip surgery, lumbar punctures, and peripheral nerve blocks. All right, then we have our Trendelenburg. This is when the patient's head is down with their legs elevated. This is used for lower abdominal surgeries as well as central venous catheter placement. You can remember this by the memory trick, Trendelenburg, think tipped backward. And last we have reverse Trendelenburg. This is when the patient's head is up with their legs down, the reverse of Trendelenburg. This is used for head and neck procedures as well as some gynecological procedures. That's all for patient positioning. Happy studying future nurses.